We are one Around the world and the universe We are one North, south, east to west We are one Glowing hearts full of love We are one A blessing from above No matter where we're from We are one We are one We are one नजरिन दिल अपना पाकिस्तान के साथ इंतखब अहमद ग्लोबल पीस अलायंस ग्रुप के साथ यहाँ पे इनका इंटरव्यू करने से पहले आई वॉन्टेड यू टू सी और वॉच दैट वट इज द मैसेज द पीस मैसेज और द और द कॉज और द रीजन दे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वर्किंग ऑन Uh, so Novi, uh, you, uh, Novi, uh, you want to um, tell first? Sure. Um, Global Peace Alliance has a website. It's at www.peacealways.org, and our vision for the Global Peace Peace Alliance is that we want a world of lasting peace. A peace that stands on the power of reason, justice democracy, economic equity, and environmental integrity, where humans celebrate their diversity, respect their common values, and resolve their inevitable conflicts by non-violent means. And uh, I will ask uh, Asa Sayyid to uh, continue with the message. Yeah, thank you, um, Intikhar, to so go further for your audience the GPA region to empower people and their educational, cultural, and other grassroots networks everywhere to build and sustain a culture of peace for generations to come. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, um, viewers, uh, this is a vision actually, it's a global vision for humanity and humanity will only survive when we look after each other and uh, the big corporations and the governments uh, should change their policies up to from the ground, uh, from the local level up to the highest level of the government. Uh, they should be uh, caring uh, people about people. And uh, the uh, since Canada is a champion of human uh, uh, human uh, uh, we call it rights. Uh, rights and the protection, so I want Canadian government as well to take up all the human humanitarian issues in the world equally. They should not be distinguished uh, between one group of people or one religion or one race. Uh, all, we are all human beings and the message uh, should be uh, delivered to the same way that uh, if the Canadian government wants peace uh, in the world, they should be acting on the peace initiatives swiftly and quickly. Keep watching Dil Apna Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Canada, our precious native land, our Canada. नजरिन दिल अपने पाकिस्तान के साथ इंतखब अहमद आज यहाँ पे नेओवी पेटसी कैकस के घर पे हैं और ये इन्होंने एक वर्ल्ड पीस मूवमेंट चलाई है और इसके बारे में बहुत सारी बातें बताई जाएंगी आई स्पीक इन इंग्लिश फ्रॉम नाउ एंड वेलकम पेटसी टू आर शो दिल अपना पाकिस्तान एंड असद सैयद वेलकम Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to. Uh, I am visiting you guys here uh, to let people know that uh, what's the cause of. Uh, uh, my question is to you, Percy. Uh, what's the reason you have joined this movement? Sure. The movement started uh, in 2013 when our founder R. B. Harath published a book, A New Beginning for Humankind. And many of the leaders in Surrey from different communities and from different faiths 
came together and thought it would be a good idea to find this organization. And I have been now with the organization uh, since tw uh, about four years. Okay, and what is the main theme of in that book is uh, beginning of the new human, uh, can you explain a little bit, then we'll move on? Yes, of course. The theme is that we have to survive as a species and it's basically saying that if we want to survive then we have to look at our history and how our foreign policy has not stopped the world from wars. So the idea is to not have a superpowers involved in the world and not to have nuclear weapons and to have peace in the world uh, both economic peace and non-military um, forces as well as uh, personal so that people amongst themselves and, and even in families try and get along and uh, to make the world a better place. Uh, as I say, you want to tell me about um, what the reason why you have uh, joined the, this uh, cause. So, as I say, it has done quite a few things uh, in its uh, social um, uh, ventures. Uh, and uh, now I want him to ask, he recently joined this uh, movement. Uh, as I say, you want to uh, say something to our viewers? Uh, 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 thank you, um, Intakhab. Thanks for coming and, and taking time and, and taking this interview. Um, I recently joined this organization which is called uh, Global Peace Alliance. And as Neewi mentioned, uh, a little background of the organization that it been formed in 2013 by Dr. Arbi Hara. Uh, I was introduced uh, to this organization by Neewi this year as we working together on different projects for the humanity, for the peace, for the social work. So uh, Dr. Herat uh, retired this year, actually last year, and he um, then it was a new board was supposed to come. Then the new we and um, friends and myself, I mean we joined and we thought that okay we continue the mission Dr. Arvid Harat doing. Mm -hmm. I, I read her his book. Uh, beginning of a new mankind right. and I am very impressed with his thought and uh, his uh, contribution to the peace of the world. Yeah, peace of the world. Nui, I have a question about this, uh, as you said, nuclear weapons and the uh, militarization of the world and you know, and uh, even uh, today is, um, uh, we call it 9-11 uh, uh, also uh, has happened. Uh, uh, we don't want to go into the details how it happened and why, why it happened and, and uh, the world after 9-11 also uh, a big uh, losses of the humanity uh, has happened and like in 9-11 if some like 3,000 people uh, 3,000 over 3,000 people killed but after that in in the same um, uh, situ uh, the, because of 9-11 millions of people have been killed. Uh, you want to say something about it, that, uh, that how the peace can be achieved? That's a very difficult question and I guess it goes back to how is our world run and by whom? That's right. Yeah. And again it comes to the big corporations and the superpowers that have the ability to influence what is going on in terms of the United Nations, in terms of NATO, and so on. Um, the feeling that uh, many people have is that NATO is no longer working, right. and that it either needs something new or it needs to be revamped. Right. Presently, the world is spending so much money and so much of an, our wealth in selling and developing arms instead of feeding the people who are hungry and housing the people who have no homes. 
So it can be done. One of the things that RB um, has in his um, book and in educating the young, because he has done many, many workshops and many, many talks. Right. And he talks about how it's so important to forgive the past wrongs of people. Right, right. And so when leaders come together, it's very important that their main goal is the people and not to um, continue on this path of retaliation. Right, right. Um, these are my thoughts for now. For now, very yeah. good. At the same time, as you mentioned that NATO is not doing its job, at the same time, UN is not doing its, its job. Okay, let's um, uh, move on to our uh, new segment or new... Uh, uh, my question will be in, in next segment will be yeah, there is um, a Global Peace Alliance is to, going to do some um, uh, 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 festival, some, uh, yeah, yes, festival. festival and festival yeah. will be um, I, I was reading a little bit of your brochure uh, it is very good so keep watching the Lapna Pakistan we are coming back into after a short break our precious native land our Canada work hand in hand when we stand together nothing can go wrong all the people from around the world that's what makes us strong this place we all call our home the land okay welcome back uh, uh, Nazreen I need to ask about uh, this uh, peace initiative uh, festival is coming uh, it will I hope it will join people together uh, first, I'll ask Asasiya and then Yavi about uh, uh, how you thought about this festival and uh, you guys, your group, and then uh, I'll ask Yavi about it. Thank you, Jakhar. Um, this festival is going to happen on September 21st. All right. And this is an ongoing process. Last right. year it was done and year before oh, okay. it was done. Right. This is the idea for uh, this movement to go with the with the softer aspect of human being in right. literature arts right and good things about life so right. what uh, the theme of this festival that we invite uh, different age groups people to do the paintings their arts their literature their poems right. they submit uh, us and then uh, we give them the prizes and it, it's given in this festival All right. this festival is 21st and this is the international. It's a one day festival. Day, yeah, one day festival. Yeah. It will start twelve o'clock in the morning. It will finish five in the evening. All right. And this is the in international day of peace, and which has been celebrated. That's right. And it's at yeah. Surrey City Hall. Surrey, okay. Uh, it will be in Surrey City. Yeah, Hall. that that was my next question, and uh, it will be in Surrey City Hall, inside the hall, inside or the hall. inside the hall. That inside will be great. So that's. Uh, the that city is, of Surrey is cooperating with us. That, that and, is, um, we, we, we expect everyone to come and join everyone, us on that. Yeah, because city of Surrey, uh, almost all Canada is multicultural, but yeah. city of Surrey has more diverse communities there. So, anyway, you want to tell about the festival? Has what are the segments there, and uh, how uh, who will be speakers there, and uh, okay. how it will be uh, uh, proceeding will happen. So I'm very excited. I'm excited for Global Peace Alliance because all of directors are from different political venues and from different religions and from different backgrounds. Right. And this is also reflected into our schedule. Right. So we have invited speakers, yeah. dancers, singers from different countries in the world. We have representations from um, India, from Russia, from Japan, from China, from Greece. It's a, a very long um, list of people who will be there and um, I am looking forward to it and I think it'll be very successful. Okay, and uh, what it will be different than having a cultural show than this uh, Peace Alliance uh, initiative? 
it is um, because it's happening on the international day of peace so this, right. is, this is a relief dance okay and uh, multiculturalism of canada this is uh, we all uh, adopted we love it and so different cultures will be come together they okay. will show their cultural activities their dance their art their folk songs or whatever so that will bring more harmony and peace and that's the idea to to develop So, among the people yeah yeah the one of the things that we are f- uh, focusing on all our speakers are activists environmentalists people who um for example we have um common ground the editor of common ground magazine so they are all people who care about the world and who care about peace this year the international day of peace their theme is the environment and climate change so um some of our speakers will touch on that topic other speakers will talk again in about bullying and how to make surrey safer and how to treat each other with dignity and respect um so there's a variety of topics the main emphasis that you know asad had mentioned previously yeah. is our contest our winners we had many people who participated and that's what's different about our festival is that we celebrate all the people who have taken the time from 5 years old to 85 taken the time to write beautiful stories and poems and paintings and art and we're going to showcase their art and also award them and celebrate their efforts and hopefully the more we um work with the people of Surrey especially with the young people uh the more people will be involved and carry the theme of peace in their everyday lives Oh, that's very good uh, that uh, uh, the the message of peace um, uh, will be spread through this uh, organization but i see here it's, it's called global peace alliance uh, so now you are aligning with uh, how many organizations and uh, uh, and your affiliation with how many organizations are actually we are uh, working all the groups which promote the peace okay like we are working with the over beyond war and this uh, recent happenings maybe you notice there's a uh, what happened in kashmir right so right. global peace alliance come forward and we take part in all the protests in rallies and uh, so we are uh, with all the all the groups i mean which promote peace yeah so to me to me idea. yeah sorry to uh, uh to me it's uh, it's not uh, about kashmir is not a protest it's it's, a, it's awareness it's, it's awareness, awareness yeah. to show the Give world awareness yes, yes. What, it's a, it's anywhere yeah. atrocities happening yeah, happening yeah happen. it's a human tragedy is exactly. being happening right in front of us so hopefully in this uh, peace um, uh, alliance uh, forum uh there will be some speaker who will be given a chance to point out uh, not only kashmir there are some other countries as well where people have been um, have been victimized of uh, their rights to live and uh, they they've been uh, treated not as a human uh, where as in canada even the trees have been protected not, not uh, talking about uh, uh, the animals or living things but still we are worried about our trees if it's an undue cut or something like that so you have some opinion about this uh, how you want to pers- uh, i mean uh, uh, perceive or how you want to say to the world that uh, will that uh, that recent human tragedy will be part of that uh, uh, that peace alliance movement or the yeah you can uh, explain please nevi Uh yes, uh, most of our speakers uh they're all they're not all going to talk on the same theme, but I'm sure that um people nowadays we get bombarded with all the tra- tragedies that are going on in the world and it's important for us to uh be educated and to be aware and i'm sure that our speakers will be touching on different areas 
um, in the world um, and the different problems that people are facing. And again, um, Global Peace Alliance, the message that we always, always give is uh, there is no right, there is no wrong, let's solve the problem. That's right. Let's yeah. put people first yeah. and let's make sure. And to protect humanity around the world. Yeah, humanity yeah. and also our, the earth, I mean, it's our uh, place where we live. Yes. We have to protect that also and because of the environmental issues, the things are really destroying the... But the how, how, of, yeah, the, so you know, to, uh, my next question is, how uh, seriously the, the, as uh, everybody knows, the arms makers, the policy makers and and the superpowers, how serious they are about uh, saving the human being and uh, instead of bombing uh, those countries, uh, then uh, uh, bringing peace and humanity there and educate the people. Once uh, uh, people are educated, then there will be less differences. So you want to say about something that uh, how we are, uh, your, your organization is is uh, proceeding on uh, these uh, things that uh, to bring the gap between the um, policy makers, arms dealers and uh, uh, the big organizations who, are, who don't care about humanity. So one of the things that we um, changed a little bit this year is we asked people to write on foreign policy. Oh, yeah. And um, we had quite a few good essays which we are going to send to members of parliament. Again, Canada has always been a peaceful country and we, uh, I hope we are still regarded as peacemakers. And our message through educating young people who come to volunteer um, our programs, uh, hopefully People will hear the message uh, and the, the people in our politicians and also people who are running the economy because war it does not war is profitable but in the wrong way it results not only in death and destruction but also in having people who are refugees and then people um, worry that countries cannot accommodate uh, thousands of refugees but the truth is that everyone deserves to have a home and we can't turn against people um, who need a home and yet at the same time if we didn't have wars we can invest in countries That's right, yeah. and have better economies so that people don't have to leave their homes yeah this is the bottom line you yeah. said what was my next question uh, yeah Asad do you want to add into yeah. this I just want to add a few things I mean unfortunately after World War II which we did not see I mean we yeah. were born in yeah, that yeah. time uh, what we read about that, so many people got killed, countries destroyed, but unfortunately it does not stop there. Right. We see more suffering, more things in, in, the, in the current situation, right, in, right. In, in different parts of the world. We see more refugees in, right. in everywhere. And what I feel, it is more materialistic uh, thinking Approach, of, yeah. of the people or the corporations yeah. and the greed uh, of the corporations and then the people who want to make more money. So what is happening, this is all for the making profit. I don't see much uh, conflicts for any other reason. I mean, maybe they create the other reason, yeah, yeah. they say religion or language or any other thing. But what I see, this is the big people who are making the policies just want to protect and make their profit. So we have to make awareness in the common people that stop this thinking and yeah. stop that materialism. Yeah. And uh, very good point. Asad. Very good, very good point, as mm -hmm. I said. And uh, uh, to me, also looks like I see this thing as a, as a modern uh, modern slavery, and the human yeah. the general public in the world has become a modern slave. Slave, yeah. And and uh, they don't have a will, 
uh, to protect themselves, they don't have a, a will to or power to uh, have their control their own um, destiny. So this is is a very sad situation. Yeah. So on the closing remarks, I I would like you to uh, say uh, send your message, your message, but at the same time the same message what Global Peace Alliance is is giving. So I give you one minute each. Uh, you guys go ahead. So obviously the message that we want uh, people to hear is that. Governments and corporations must put people first. Right. We have a system called capitalism. Right. And if capitalism is to survive and economies are to move forward, the realization is that slowly, slowly the middle class is eroding and more and more people are falling into the poverty um, ranks. This is totally unacceptable for a country that's as rich as Canada to have children who go to school hungry, to have um, uh, families that have nowhere, can't afford to have a roof over their heads, to have seniors who cannot decide between their groceries and their medications. Oh, and the bills as well. And the bills that pile up. Yeah. We are collecting food for the food bank, yeah. so do remember to bring something for that. Non-perishable food uh, yes. items will be welcome yes. and uh, it will be uh, distributed by Sare Food Bank or what? Yes. Yeah, Sare yes. Food, Sare food yes. Bank will yes. be yes. distributing yes. non-perishable uh, uh, food items. So, Nazin, uh, viewers, uh, uh, join uh, this cause of world peace and uh, humanity, and I think that's a, that's a, that's the goal of the surviving of humankind on this earth, because uh, life is once, and we have to live with its fullest uh, uh, desires. Uh, keep watching Dil Apna Pakistan, Vancouver Ki Jaan Dil Apna Pakistan. The land of the free Together we can build our lives A place for you and me Yeah We are one Walk the earth all across the nation Around the world